man. I think 128 megabyte man. And I would do, f and I would boot some live C's off and use them in lessons. It'd be really noisy to boot up. And then I did it in one lesson, and it's like people are like, what's all that noise? And then, and I just thought this is a bit silly, just booting off the live C. So I'll just, just use XP with, with the theme I like, this um, Andy like third party theme, and open office. And anyway, so he would say how good. Mandrake was, and so I like knew about Mandrake in like 2005, but I never really tried it out until, until obviously it became Mandriva, and until I decided to um, finally put on Mandriva. Well, I finally got a development version. Yeah, it took about 2005, um, and you were then talking about Mandriva and Mandrake. You're already kind of at the uh, border of non-existence of Mandriva. Of, of yeah, so I, I put on Mandriva eventually because I knew it was a good distro and this I, was I, guy, guy online. But this guy, this guy from Australia, who I was just mentioning, he, he, um, he, will, he would tell me how great Mandriva was and I, I, I sort of knew it was a good distribution anyway and it was, I wanted to try it out. So, but then he, he eventually, um, decided that he would, um, Switch to PC Linux OS because he, um, I think he, he would tell me about how Mandriva was gonna possibly be like it was like a sinking sinking ship because of the rumors last year about the company and all that, and how the, the new investor stuff and all that, and how no one really knew what was gonna happen at the time. And he, and this is before the fork of the announcement of Magia, because it was all it was all very uncertain times. No one really knew what was going to happen. Yeah. But most of the current Mandriva community are also behind Magia, which is nice. Um, they, they like both distributions or one of them. Is there no tension between those two camps? Uh, there is, to some extent. There, there is actually. So there isn't uh, so much collaboration. Is I think I think of the. I think the I think the relationship between Debian and, and Ubuntu is probably very different. There, there is there is some tension. There, uh, I f yeah, I think that's the word tension. Um, because I I ended up going. There's I ended up um. I mean I heard about this RPM five from the Unity Linux uh, guys in their channel because they were going RPM five as well, like Mandriva. And there's a guy from Mandriva who goes to that channel as well, and he's like one of the main Mandriva people. And he used to work, and I've talked to him on, I, on IRC before, and he used to work with, um, he used to work, as far as I know, he used to work with the woman who started Mag Magia, and some of the other, other ones, and, uh, they've had, they have, have a little bit of a problem with each other, I think. I'm not, I don't really know the details, but there was, I ended up on a link about, uh, RPM 5, mm -hmm. uh, where, they um where they hit him and so and one of the people from Nigeria they were like talking they were like um sort of arguing in the comments in a way but but um yeah it was, I don't know it made it an interesting read because I mean I didn't really know about RPM five and all that and I like learned some more stuff by reading that but I think in general there there isn't really a a, a problem between Nigeria and Mandriva it's just they're just they're just to set each other and that they that they both exist now and that that um that they're gonna go in different directions. Yeah. Uh, what uh, about PC Linux OS? Do you know if they uh, I think Techstar is still the main developer yeah, it's, yeah, it's I can't remember his first name now, I can remember his last name. He's based in Texas, isn't he? The person uh, probably, 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 and that's probably why there's bull as a logo. When I ran PC, yeah. so I, I, I first did it in the Merck machine, and the branding, it just put me off. It's like, I don't want a bull on my desktop. I don't want... It used to be a colors. Windows, uh, used to be a Windows-like logo, and uh, the, the theme was, everything was very similar to XP. Uh, then there was the period of the bull, and then they changed it to something else again. It just said PC Linux OS, and I think the bull was around 2007, wasn't it? I, I, um... Well, oh, sorry, 2007, yeah. the XP, so the bull yeah, probably around the 2008. The OS was apparently, in 2007, really, really popular as well, and then... Yeah, it was number one in DistroWatch for a while. Yeah, apparently it apparently lost all these users because one of the developers died or something, I didn't, I didn't really know. But it's it's like, and then now it's all supposed to be its own distribution, even though it was forked from... I'm not sure anybody died, I'm not sure, but to be fair, I'm not sure it was a death of 
And he, I, I remember that the, the site at some stage kind of died because it had too much demand on it. Um, and I think I think Techstar had to uh, move to, to doing something else for a while because he didn't have uh, maybe it's financially or maybe it's a matter of time or passion or something. I don't. If somebody died, uh, I don't know about it. So yeah, yes, that's what someone told me in the nice ear web. I'm not. I didn't always. Actually, one one person I know died quite for no not recent, but almost a year ago. Was one of the contributors to uh, Linux to Linux Mint. Uh, well, apparently there was uh, there was something there was something about a GNOME developer who who on his last day alive he he I think he had some sort of disability and, like he knew he was gonna die. That's that something I read. I'm not sure exactly. I can't quite remember. But I think something like he 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 did GNOME code, but with his yeah. foot he like oh. he like fixed a bug in GNOME on his like very last day alive. Yeah. Something. I'm not. I'm not sure there was something I read. But anyway, so uh, PC Linux OS was forked back uh, from Mandrake, I believe, in 2003, and yeah, 2003. And now they've got. They say they got more of their own base and all that. They don't really use much Mandrake and driver tools. Or they've been a sort of the control center and things like that. But they yeah. they say they're more of their own distribution now. So if you say some, if you. Um, <laughs> If you like say something like you're a fork of, of Mandrake or Andrew, they'll be like, No we're not, no we're not. Well we and then sometimes we might be like, Oh well we were okay, we fought really long time ago back in from Mandrake, but now we've got our own base so we're not the fork anymore. But I mean I, I think it's still a fork. It might have their own base, but I think it's still a fork. It's a bit like Nigeria, they might change from Mandriva in the future in many Different ways, but it'll still be a fork of Mandriva. But really, but the whole the other point of Mandriva really is to try and start over and sort of get things right this time and have a one one hundred percent community distribution. I think they um, want to be very independent from the whole need to yeah. satisfy the shareholders. They don't, they don't want to be. They don't want to, Mandriva doesn't really want to be really really linked to Mandriva because Mandriva's. Like, had a bit of a bad rep- reputation over the years. I think the, uh, the the trying to milk money out of customers, but it, it's not something they can be blamed for from the point of view of them being a company, and they were under pressure from investors. People gave money for you know paying the wages and everything of the developers. Uh, they were under pressure to try and find a business model. So one of their business model would involve so, trying to get money out of the district. Yeah, they had the power pack and the I had about the Mandriva. Someone told me last week about oh, the Polygraph in Australia, yeah. about the Mandriva Club and how that didn't really work. And then, and then also they did make some mistakes. And and when Ubuntu started hitting off, I mean, a lot, quite a few of the people who are really into Ubuntu now, they quite a lot of them actually used to use Mandrake, Mandriva, like community, Ubuntu community members. And a long time, and even John O'Bacon, in fact, he used to use Mandrake back here all those years ago. Uh, he, I remember him, t- yeah, he's <laughs> on his Ustream, he, you know, he only showed a Mandriva bad ones. And he used to use Mandrake all those years ago. And I think Mandriva, they just, I think Mandriva just wants to sort of start over and continue with how, sort of, how Mandriva used to be like, to some extent. And also do things more by one percent community distro, non-profit organisation behind it. Everyone who contributes as a volunteer, and then they have a like they have their teams, obviously the packaging team and the uh, the board, the media board, and all that kind of thing. And and it's just and yeah, and then they're gonna and it's all about it'll be like Debian it, you know it exists because of donations really you know you'll have money yeah. from these projects you'll get money from someone I, I think I, I think in some cases one of the ways to uh, profit from these uh, and not really profit in a big way uh, and that's a personal opinion my, one of many business models if a company uses Magia and they come to you and they say can you implement this feature in Magia because their company will be interested in that will sponsor the development of this feature that's one way they can do that. The other thing they can do is sponsor a developer to work on the project, 
uh, because it might be of interest to the company or the company might yeah, or, or they can or they can be the developer who has access to the code and knows the code well enough to work for the company and try to customize the design. Yeah, or, or, you, can, or yeah. you can have companies who give money back to the project. I think I, there was something on IC before about how like I think it was like two of the pounds, maybe more than one pound, or maybe more than two, but something about how they were thinking about like starting some sort of company where they could make money somehow for Magia, so, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, the way it works in WordPress, for example,